Hello, idiot hookers. Back doing a review for my favorite show, Scream Queens. It's been, well, it seems like it's been four weeks since we've seen an episode of Scream Queen, and it seems like it's been four years with everything that happened. I mean, the Chicago Cubs won the World Series, and Donald Trump's our president-elect. So, yeah, so anyway, when you get back into it, they still have the Halloween parties going on, and we already knew this from the promos, but all those patients from the uh, Halloween party where everyone dressed up as Hamilton have been wiped out. And it looks like it's curtains for the hospital, but somehow <laughs> this attracts more business because people find out that they've got this hospital that tries to cure these uncurable diseases and afflictions. So a lot of people start coming in. And with that, they uh, Chanel gets an idea that they need... Uh, cannon fodder, human shields to put between them and the green meanie, so she uh, picks some of the patients, uh, one this lady who has this face that won't move <laughs> and this other really tall one, I can't remember what disease she had uh, I think Chanel called it Abe Lincoln's disease <laughs> and then they uh, pick up some Twitter fan of theirs called, who they call uh, Chanel Poor Homeowner I, I don't know how that's pronounced, but uh, basically that's where the title comes from. This is uh, Chanel Jorge Home Homicide. And like he's this uh, gay guy who just loves them. And so he gets killed off. <laughs> and they're going to send the face, uh, the one with the unmovable face to the morgue to get something. And he shows up and he's jealous that she's getting some croaker, I think it's called. So she leaves and he gets cut in half. And I think that was kind of a waste of a good character. They could have kept him around for a few more episodes. And then at the end, Dean Munch puts on three more Chanel's. Now we're up to uh, uh, <laughs> Chanel 11. Uh, they have one woman who's like uh, into Dungeons and Dragons. And they have one who's got no kidneys but a shitload of intestines. And they have Chanel number 11 who has 11 fingers. And Chanel number 11... Gets it. Yeah, Green Meanie first, he cuts off her 11th finger. She's like, oh, this is so cool. And then he drives the machete through her. <laughs> I, I mean, I, <laughs> I think there's one problem with this uh, season. You see, is that they keep having all the victims, like they're one episode characters. You know who's going to get it. But I guess with the new Chanel's, we've got some cannon fire. And you just, you pick the ones you like. They're sort of like the celeb the, the um the extra sorority sisters in season one where you had the deaf one, you had predatory Les, and you had the candle vlogger with her candle fetish and uh I'm thinking there was one other sorority sister. I know you had Zay Zay and you had Grace, but wasn't there another one? Well, I, I guess Hester, you know, uh Leah yeah, Michelle's character. But anyway, you know, you you get invested in these characters. He like I like the Dungeon and Dragon one chick. She looks hot, and uh, <laughs> I got a uh, soft spot for the uh, the one who can't move her face because already they were setting up to be killed, and I want her to make it through, even though her, she doesn't have any chances. Uh, also, I got handed to Christy Alley. They finally gave her character some screen time. I mean, she made the best with it. She's her she's addicted to some kind of prescription pills and she goes off on this rant about how she's not addicted but everything she says basically lets you know that she's addicted she's like I think about it night and day and noon and the afternoon I wake up I want some I go to bed I want some but I'm not addicted <laughs> yeah and I think the biggest reveal is we find out who Bill's baby was and that was uh, it was Taylor Lawner's character um, Cassidy he, he was Bill's baby because uh, Zay Zay tracks down the woman and you find out, they find out that she was married to Black Eyes so they're thinking it's um, the Candy Striper. Oh, crap. I can't even think of his name. Thanks a lot, World Series and election, you know. You can't remember everything from the first four episodes. Uh, anyway, the candy striper guy. So Zay Zay thinks he might be the killer because we find out also that Dean Munch, no one hired him. He just kind of showed up. And uh, I'm kind of thinking, hmm, he's my number one suspect. I'm thinking he 
from one of the things he says, uh, it sounded like he was on the street pushing, you know, being happy and trying to be a canister driver on the street. So I'm thinking maybe he was homeless, living in the hospital, and when the Cure Institute shows up, he got kicked out. The only problem with that theory is, what does that have to do with the killer back in the 80s? And I, I don't know. I'm thinking they may have just two independent killers. One who killed everyone in the 80s, and then the, the candy striper who's killing everyone so the hospital will be closed down and he gets his house back. Uh, like I said, we met the uh, Bill's wife, who's Cassidy's mother. She could have done it. I, I also found out, it, like, some people probably thought that Nurse Awful was that lady. Well, nope. Two different characters. So, yeah, I thought it was... Great to have Screen Queens back, and they kind of threw things for a twist, introducing these new characters, but all around the season, it's just, it kind of, I, I don't care as much as I did in season one. Season one was just so intriguing. But, you know, season two, it's got its, uh, for all the faults this guy does have, you know, it's killing off these main characters. It killed off Chad and then Denise, although... In this episode, they basically said she was dead, but she's not really dead. She's, like, brain dead, and they put her in a cryo chamber. So I'm thinking um, maybe she'll come back and accuse Zay Day of killing her. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, predictions, uh, I don't really have any. I'm going to guess that uh, despite being Bill's baby, Cassidy is not the killer. I guess I've already kind of predicted that Candy Striper might be the killer. I might change that theory. In a few more episodes. I uh, basically think that next episode, one of the extra Chanel's is going to get it. I don't know which one. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's see. So I guess those are it for predictions. And we'll have to see what happens.